Hey guys, how you doing? It's Will Sellers. I am back. Um, we've been having some technical issues. This is take two. Um, it, the first one was just a fake run through that we didn't plan on. Um, but I'm back. So I promised you guys footage from Strategicon a couple weeks ago. Strategicon did not happen for us. This convention happened. I was not there. Um, life decided that I didn't need to attend. So I was like, who am I to argue with life? I'm just going to take the weekend off. Um, my alternator decided that it did not belong in this plane anymore and it has decided to depart. So, I didn't have a car and I didn't feel like I should bother people to borrow a car. So me and the kids stayed home. It was a bad time for everybody. There was a lot of people expecting us. I had a lot of things to do. I had a lot of interviews that I wanted to do. It didn't happen. Life gets in the way sometimes. It's just one of those things. Um, we will be at RageCon at the end of this month, the 27th through the 2nd. We will be in, the 2nd of July. We will be in Reno for the Reno Area Game Expo or RageCon. It's a great convention. We help run some events there. We're going to actually be doing some Gen Con um, qualifiers for them, which is going to be fun. I will be there with the Alvarez's and Kim and a couple other people. Um, the boys will not be with me. We had anticipated this would be our big we're going to get out there, film a bunch of and a bunch of stuff. Pardon me. We'll edit that out. Um, we'll be filming a bunch of stuff and getting some things ready for our big run at Comic-Con. And they have a camping trip planned. I did not anticipate planning to happen. You know, they're going to go camping. I'm going to be alone trying to shoot what I can and edit what I can. It's going to be interesting because I haven't edited anything in a really long time since the last video. And you saw how well that turned out. Anyway, I have got some stuff for you guys. Unboxing video. I've got a couple, couple things. Um... So, let's dive right on in. This box, I opened by accident. I didn't open it to look at it. I was carrying it. I had a bunch of stuff in the hand. The tape tore it opened. I haven't looked in it, though. So, this is a Kickstarter that I backed by Ethereum. Um, Awa Eclipse. It is a Mesoamerican-themed game. Um, set in Yucatan. It comes, that's one of the expansion packs for it. It also comes with the Spanish pack. For those of you that would like to practice the game in Espanol, um, for many of you who don't know, Spanish was actually my first language. English is my second. Um, but I play it off really well, don't I? Uh, so this is a game. It was a beautiful game. The Kickstarter video really, I mean, the components alone look amazing. Um, so we're going to go ahead, give you a quick zoom in on that. And then we're going to go ahead and just, I just want you guys to really to like, look at the artwork on this box. It is simply gorgeous. It is a area controlled engine builder kind of game, um, fighting for resources across the Yucatan. So it's amazing. Um, just so you know, it does have a choking hazard warner, so warning on it. So if you have got children, Zero to three, don't let them eat these pieces. They will choke. It says the warning there. It's a serious thing. Okay, so that's that box out of the way. Let's move on to the big boy. Oh, my God. Oh. This is from the Indie Game Alliance. It says so right there. Um, Matt has sent me some stuff for Comic-Con. Because we are trying to make another impact. Prior to pandemic, we were doing really good. We were making strides for the independent gaming community um, in California, Orange County, and the Western states. And then COVID happened. And I got lazy. A lot of people found other things to do. A lot of designers drifted away. Um, you know, it just happened. So we're starting to try and get a resurgence in that. And... Let's see what Matt sent us, because the IGA always takes care of its members. Not trees, though, apparently. So, ooh, whale, 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 whale. Olympus Flux. Looney Labs has recently joined the Indie Game Alliance. Um, Olympus Flux is one of their newest iterations of the Flux game. I believe the new one, newest one is Traveling Across America. These games play really well. They're very, I mean, 
they do really great with their research on the themes and everything to keep everything so flowing and the artwork's always great killers the card game this game's got a warning on it uh sensitive subject matter but i like the box um 25 unique killer cards victim cards scenario cards evidence tokens oh it's a ccg or yeah oh huh. cool we'll have to give this a play i know several basic people that are really going to like that they really get off on the um serial killer documentaries and stuff I know exactly the crew that's going to want to play this at a specific convention, so that'll be fun for them. What is this thing? Oh my gosh. The big tube. Ah! Yeah. It's a big old tube. Escape from Site 19. Holy smokes. I have no idea what this is. It's, it's a big cylinder stuff you have to do some damage control man this we got a lot of stuff in it it's gonna have to have its own its own video for that because it's got a lot of things there's more to go with it um additional security protocol so this is an expansion for it yeah Escape from Site-19. All right. This will be cool. We do like those those kind of escape room games, if that's what it is. If not, I will let you guys know. Big Bad Overlord. I'm saying carding dice. All right. Ooh, you take on the little. So you're trying to battle for control against the uh, evil, uh, the other big bad guys in the game, which would be your your opponents. Some big bad ideas. I like. Oh, 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 oh! Cthulhu, the great old one. I love Mythos games. I love. Cthulhu, I love all the games that I've played. There's very few games that I don't like involving Cthulhu um, as a theme. They're almost always done well. This is going to be great. I love these games. Um, wow. Okay, yeah. I do enjoy the Lovecraftian games. Oh, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Ah, ha, ha. There's some games that go with that, a little bit of a booster pack with our Cthulhu, the great old one. And Tavern Masters from DKG. All right. The village of Redstaff is growing ever since they cleared the forest path. Oh. Become the tavern keeper, stock the drinks, hire some staff, earn the gold. Patrons are coming in every night, and they are thirsty. Will you have what they want? This looks fun. And it comes with a little bonus. Music. So we've got immersive music to go with this. I love that. I've got a CD-ROM that I use for my Blu-rays and my DVDs. I love thematic games that have immersive components, and they sent me some... Matt went ahead and threw in some promo stuff for this game. Excellent. And there's one more box. It's a mystery box because it's got nothing on it. So is it a bunch of little things? Or is it a big thing? Let's find out. Oh. Ah! <laughs> it's IGA uh, materials that I can hand out at the convention. So... Uh, Promotional stuff for Indie Game Alliance. Excellent. Good, because I was actually out of business cards. So we have... That is it for the Indie Game Alliance. All right, guys. So we will be at San Diego Comic-Con at the end of July. Um, we will be sending footage. We will be doing everything from Wednesday through Sunday when we leave the convention. So we will be updating every couple of hours. So be on the lookout for videos. We'll be updating the social media. We will be updating all the video panels. 
the TikTok will be updated, the YouTube will be updated, all of it. So it's been great seeing you guys. Sorry for the late update. Just wanted to let you guys know what we are going to be doing and running. Apparently, we're going to be doing a lot of great new stuff, especially with the IGA. So happy gaming, and may the dice always roll in your favor. Have a good one, guys. See you later. We'll sell as here.